Hello, welcome back. We're ready for a, uh, another tutorial here in uh, Howler. You know, I think maybe I should call the whole series Discovering Dog Waffle, but a lot of people wouldn't know what Dog Waffle was since it's called PD Pro or PD Howler and things. And it's only the early versions that still have the, the Dog Waffle obvious in them. But I like that, Discovering Dog Waffle. So today we are going to be doing some more discovering. Um, I said that we would take a look at uh, the other hidden gems down here um, and so in the miscellaneous I have to admit there's a lot of these that I have no clue how they work or what they do because I um, don't do the computer head thing um, I know a lot of it does have to do um, with various computer things but there's a lot of things that uh, don't um, the animation to AVI um, what it does is if you've done an, an animation and you have saved it in the uh, native dog waffle um, format the DWA um, that will let you take that and turn that uh, into an animation so to convert it from the one to the other with the proper codex and uh, things like that um, the audio uh, recorder um, does just what it says it allows you to record audio um, which you could then use um, if you were doing an animation you could have voiceover or have your characters talking and things in the animation um, the calendar widget, I'll go ahead and click on it here. It brings up a calendar. Isn't that cool? So like you're sitting there at your desk, can't figure out, you know, what's next week, things like that. You bring it right back up. All right. Um, next back down here in the all plugins miscellaneous after the uh, calendar widget is clear the registry. Um, if you're having windows that go um, missing off to the, uh, to the side, if you have uh, having an issue with crashes or things like that, sometimes clearing the registry will help to clean that up. So you click on that, it clears it out. There's another um, another place that you can find it up in the window um, windows areas. They uh, it's there too. Um, clock two gives you a clock, so you know what time it is. And uh, if you right click on it, you can have small, medium small or large so a nice cute little clock right there um, next um, we have the uh, dog Lua browser there's a, a number of Lua scripts and if you know how to write them and uh, use them then they're all right here um, so you can edit them you can run them do special things on them. There's a lot of really um, cool scripts, things that you can uh, check out in here, diagonal mirrors and flippings and all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, once again, I admit I probably only uh, used this four or five times when I was helping uh, do the beta testing on it and uh, and really not since then. I know I should like, you know, pull it back out and use it. There's the Mandel and the Mandelbrot uh, things, make marble, all kinds of fun stuff. So a neat one to check out. Back over here. Um, we have the um, dog Louette editor and that lets you actually you know do codes and run them and, and things like things like that I say that a lot things like that uh, etc if you know how to write the code once again not something I do so I'm sorry uh, I'll have to get somebody else to do you a video on that one because I don't know then um, on down the gradient uh, to VB and whatnot takes your gradient and it writes it out in Visual Basic as a text file so that you can then move it into Visual Basic and, and use it in that area. The um, mat cutter, if we get it to come up here, there we go. Um, this allows you to frame your pictures and uh, do a mat in it. There's a lot of neat uh, things. You can import your gradients, um, you can import the paper, so if you want to have a texture on your uh, mat you can. There's frame samples that are down here. Um, these are also in the, the regular gradient um, palette. You'll see these and uh, they're just not in the corner angle and stuff so that you can um, so that you can get a 
preview, that's the word, a preview of how it will look on the corner. And then you can choose to have the texture, um, if you want your foam core, with little parts that show around the edges, if you want that to have a little bit of a color, you can make your mats different sizes, um, bringing it up and down. There we go, bring it down some, there we go. So that you can see the, the different look on that. Um, your frame size, make it bigger, smaller, invert the frame. Um, you can choose to have like the wood grain texture on the frame or the antique or the sponge, giving it some different uh, looks and stuff to it. Um, it also lets you change your the wave, the intensity and things, so it gives different looks. That's all um, on the frame. Um, and then uh, once you have everything selected that you want, see so here's the gradient uh, list that just lists them by um, name as opposed to the the pictures and things here. So some neat uh, looks and things to add to your pictures and stuff. You can also um, change your mats and things like that. This kind of lets you see it a little bit better. So as you see, the second mat isn't uh, showing up. Uh -huh -huh. So I haven't played with this one for a while. Oh, it didn't select. That's what part of our problem is. There we go. Um, so there, secondary mat. You can make them bigger, smaller, and whatnot. So that lets you uh, do a lot of neat stuff there once you apply it. There you are. So, so this is, as we said, the sponge texture. Picked out the frame that was, you know, dark with the light. Um, it's fun. It's good for cards. It's good for um, if you wanted to frame a picture and then print it and whatnot, then you could look like you had a frame. Uh, coming back down here, so that's the mat cutter. We have the media player widget. There we go. And uh, it's just a little small media player. That's really all it does. Plays one song, pause it, open up your music. So into your music uh, library. That way you can have some good music while you're sitting there and doing your howler work and you know enjoying it. And it doesn't take up a whole lot of um, resources because it's so small. Um, the uh, mod player, mod dog player, is a little round one that basically just does the same thing. Real small, open your file, stop, start, move around. So, very, very um, simple. Then, we're getting close to the end here. I have the mouth. Um, this is for animation. Again, it's not something that I'm real good at. But this is uh, if you want your um, animations to speak and uh, say the various letters, that it has the, the various letters and things that are there. So that lets you shape, um, pick your mouth shapes that you're going to use in your animations and, and things. So your timing, your mouth sets, the cameras. So um, if you're into animation, this is a handy thing for getting your little characters to talk. Next, we um, have the palette to gradient. You can, uh, well, for example here we have the blue, the uh, red, the brown, and if we were to do this it, it will create a 256 color palette and apply it to the current gradient. And so. Uh, You do that, and now it's going to take a while, and see, it didn't take too long. Now it's done. 
and uh, you would be able to see that in the gradient. Uh, sweep editor. So there we go. You could then, you know, make changes uh, to this to make it more opaque, to smooth it, things of that nature. So you got something and you just want to make a gradient out of it. There's how you go about doing that. We're going to skip Penny for a minute. This just allows you to save um, your Air AVI, and this is to test your um, GUI. This is also um, available up in the window area, uh, the view area. It's up in here when you um, are looking at the settings. And finally, Penny. Penny is really cool. A lot of people wanted spline um, drawing, and so um, this is what was um, come up with. Your options can uh, get the paper that you have over. When you open it, any image that you have currently in Dog Waffle automatically appears um, back here. These are the tools that you can use with Penny. There's the pen, the water brush, the ink, and the gel. Um, and uh, especially with a tablet it gives really nice really smooth things um, your colors for adjusting the modes this regular simple modes how much paper uh, how much you want the paper to have an effect how opaque it is um, and then the size of your uh, pen you can't really adjust the uh, you can't really adjust the type of brush that you are using other than the ones that are here, but it does make, you know, pretty smooth spline based, based lines. And uh, it does have some, some neat effects to it. This was something that was in uh, PD Pro 4, I think is where it was originally developed. And uh, a lot of these effects are now in the, the special effects of the uh, brushes. So um, there's the, the penny. When you're all uh, done, then you can send the image back to Dog Waffle. And you close penny, and there it is. And you can go on and continue other work with it at this point. Um, using the rest of your filters and, and things. Um, so back here, finish up the last, I think that was the last one, the penny. So um, it's really neat for doing some quick sketches or if you're trying to work out something and you're not exactly sure how you want it to work out, it lets you kind of call up an extra little notepad that you can do some work and things on. So that finishes up the miscellaneous filters that are hiding out uh, down here. And so that you have a little bit of an idea how to use them. And hopefully that brings a few new things um, to mind to use, like the, the Lua browsers and the penny and um, the mouth for doing um, your animation um, speakings and things. So uh, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you next time. All right, have a great day. Bye.